Welcome again to Camp Wilderness Thriving Fundamentals. We're about to show you another little video on the things we do at Heartroot. Now, if you've seen our webpage and been through our webpage, you've seen our Heartroot page. And um, I'm going to try to post videos of some of the events and some of the little lessons we're going to learn while we're in Hartrut, and I hope you enjoy them all. We will be posting several, so stay with us and watch for more videos. This is Stein North with Camp WTF at Hartrut. Let's have some fun. Hello everyone. Welcome to Camp Wilderness Thriving Fundamentals. We're back again at Hartrut and here at Hartrut we like to learn little bushcrafting skills and teach teach you some tips that will make your outdoor experience that much better. In this short little video we're going to talk a little bit about knife safety. Um, one thing that I think is underrated is knife safety. There's a lot of videos out there of people doing bushcrafting projects um, and I would say 90% of those bushcrafting projects involve using a knife. There's many things to keep in mind when you're using a bushcraft knife or any knife for that matter. And accidents happen. They truly do. Um, I've suffered from some of those accidents and fortunately I've learned from most of them. Now when it comes to knife safety, first of all I'm going to talk about a couple of knives that I, I use. Um, I use a simple carbide steel Mora. It's a Mora Companion not full tang. The tang only goes about two-thirds of the way through the handle. So they are prone to break if you're batoning with them. So keep that in mind. But they're very good for the finer type of cutting that you're going to need to do in the bush. For batoning and larger cutting, I have a larger bushcraft knife. Full tang. Steel goes all the way to the end of the handle. You can drive down on it. You can baton this knife. It's got a very hefty blade. You can baton on this all day. Mine's all bent up from batoning on it. It strikes a good spark. So does the Mora. They strike good sparks using a ferro rod. But it's a heavy knife. But it's meant to be. And it's a pretty safe knife. It's got a great handle. Your hand's not apt to slip out of it you got fine work to do. It's got a finger safety notch here. You can set your pointing finger in that notch. It's far away from that blade and you can get in and work on things. Okay, those are two knives. Now, a lot of people say this doesn't classify as a knife. But, I also had to carry a machete. Um, but yes, the machete does count as a knife, and it's a very large knife. It's a very sharp knife. I keep a very sharp edge on my machete. Very useful tool. It's also a very dangerous tool. We'll discuss that real quick. Now, knife basics. Knife for the right job. Now, if you're going to use small wood like this, now this is a real old, dry, soft wood. People want to carve towards themselves. It's just, they, they want to. Now, I don't say don't carve towards yourself because there's going to be some cases where you do. However, make sure you've got full control if you're carving towards yourself and that it's very light work that the blade's not going to jump and you're going to lose control of it. Better yet, find some heavy clothing, double or triple it up, put your piece of work against that and then work towards yourself so that if you do slip you're apt to hit that. Don't ever put extreme force towards yourself. 
<coughs> if you have to do some heavy cutting, put your piece of work against something solid. A log, the ground, something. Not your boot. Then cut downward. Then you can cut downward. Then you can cut. You can put some real pressure to it. Okay? And again, right knife for the right job. Big knife like this, little piece of wood like that. You can really put some heft to it. And really start cutting some wood. Okay? Not a good thing to use a machete for because it's long, it's awkward, it's just not made for that kind of work. Machete's made to chop with, not to carve with. I've seen people try to carve with these, that's not a good thing. Now one thing you can do is you can take a, if you got a, like a 3x3 three three bandana, wrap it up, make a tube about 4 to 5 inches wide, so that you've got maybe 6 to 8 layers. Wrap that around the blade, the end of the blade, and you've got your handle, and you can draw a knife on projects with your machete. That's the closest to an actual knife usage this should come. This is a sh chopping tool. Um, this is not a, a, a pocket knife. This is not a fixed blade bushcraft knife. This is a chopping tool, but can be used if done properly and safely if you wrap as a draw knife. Okay? Those are some knife basics for you. I hope you enjoyed that. We go much more in depth when you're here at Camp WTF. And that's right where we'd like to see you. We hope that you'll come and join us. Use your knives safely and wisely. We don't want to see anybody injured. And Stai always says, camp smart, camp safe. And you'll always have that other day you get to come back. So we'd love to see you here. All of us here from Camp Wilderness Thriving Fundamentals and Hartroot, we love Hartroot. It's a place to learn, a place to share. This is the place where you'll find out we care. So, come on down, let us teach you a few things, and you all have a good day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Goodbye.